We're at Heinz Field, the Steelers' home since 2001. This stadium has sold out every game it's hosted, just like its predecessor did throughout the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Tom Hammond here, and beside me, Chris Collinsworth. We're looking forward to this Thursday night matchup between the Steelers and the Titans. Here's one of the guys that the offense has to get some bodies on because he can wreck any game plan for any team almost single-handed. It's going to be a very mild night. There's no rain in the forecast, so weather will not be a factor. And we're set to go. We'd like to let you know that this game is brought to you by Snickers. And we're hoping for another great season of NFL football. Here's the kick from the eight-yard line. Gets to about the 27. The offense will start at the 27. Ike Taylor makes the tackle. A pickup of five. That brings up second down. They go with the run. He fights forward to about the 36 before he's rustled to the ground. A gain of three yards. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. Throws just as the pressure gets there. Yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. First and 10, ball on their own 41. Johnson gets the carry right side. Aaron Smith was there on the tackle. A five-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. Second and five. He can't bring him down. Johnson gets three yards on the carry. Third down now, they'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Tackle was made by Lawrence Timmons. Chris Johnson picks up just around five yards. That'll be good for the first. Let's go, go, go. Johnson on the run. Still going. Smith tackles him for a loss at the 50. And you can see the running back there just saying, where are my guys? Where's my blocking? What's going on out here? Just need a little help from your friends. Gets the pass away. And he brings in the high pass. The Titans are having some success getting the ball down the field on this drive. This offense is clicking. Gives it off. He's still going. It's going to be first and goal tight. Lendell White really has a special sense of how a play is developing, and he knows the blocking assignments of those guys up front. You can just see it. He is very patient. He waits for it to develop and then takes full advantage. White gets the carry right side. The stop was made by James Harrison. This is the 11th play of this drive. Passes, end zone. Chris Johnson has six. Wait, the officials will huddle. The call is not a touchdown. That's the end of the first. 
last year at Heinz Field, we're scoring. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Gives it up the gut. He's going to be tackled for a loss. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Passes to the end zone. Washington with the grab, but there's been no signal. Did he make the catch? They give him the score. The Titans are able to score the game's first points. What a run that was. He was trapped behind the line of scrimmage. It looked like he was going to go down for a big loss. Instead, he breaks the tackle and runs it in for the touchdown. From the five yard line. He's tackled at the 30. The Steelers will start this drive at the 30. Tackle was made by Thornton. Parker gets his first carry of the game. They'll need about three yards here on second down. Can't do that. Way to work, Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. Dumps it out left. Runs right through the tackle. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Wow, halfbacks that can play like wide receivers. I don't know how you play defensive back in this league anymore. What a play. And it looks like they might have run into the kicker. Here's the call. forward. The Titans ended their last drive with a touchdown so they'll look to make it two in a row. They'll start at the 30. Passes the ball. Falls incomplete. Harry Collins it appears as human after all. It's not very often we see him overthrow a receiver like that. Deep. The stop was made by Townsend. And there you see just a little bit of how tremendous these athletes are in the NFL. The ability to go up above the defense and make a play like that, that was fun to watch. Passes it. There for the catch. The Titans are picking up nice yardage just about every time they go to the air. I'm not sure what's happening with the defense right now, but they seem a little out of sorts. Where no joke? First and ten. Two minutes left in the half. They hand it off. James Ferrier is there on the tackle. Six yards away from Pater here. Again, he'll get the call. 
The stop was made by Timmons. Not very often in a game does a defender get a clean shot like that on a running back. Typically, the running back didn't see it coming to take that kind of a shot. Crosses the plane. Well, we'll wait to see. This will not be a touchdown. From the one-yard line. The halfback with the carry. The Tennessee Titans cap off the seven-play drive with a trip to the end zone. Well, they will go for two here. Passes to the end zone. Great job there. They were able to convert. And you could tell the offense had a plan throughout that drive. Not only did they get the touchdown, but they immediately got the call in for the two-point conversion. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and executed it perfectly. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Taken from the 10. And it looks like we have a flag here on the ball. And I have a feeling this one's coming back. The offense will take over at the 20-yard line. Anytime you give up that quick pressure like that, very seldom are those passes completed. Rolling right. And it's completed. The offense calls a timeout. Tennessee has all their DBs in for this five wide set. You gotta make plays, y'all. Throws it. Nice grab. First down, and he's knocked out. Lima Sweet on the receiving end, and it's his first catch of the game. as he lets it go. When you get that kind of pressure, a lot of times the play will result in something worse than just an incompletion. And straight ahead we go with the fullback. They'll line it up again on third down. They hand it off. Nothing fires up a defense more than a play like that. A third down stop against the run, man on man football, the defense got it done. Tennessee calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. And it appears that the coach will keep his offense out there. Time for a short break. Thanks, Tom. We hope you guys have been enjoying the action. Top plays from the first half, here you go.
Here's a look at the first half stats. The number of plays run in the first half favored Tennessee. Welcome back to Pittsburgh. He'll down it in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 20. This is where you step up, right here, baby. They get to him. Javon Haight has sack number one of the season. Following the sack, the offense sets up second and 13. Moves forward. He's sacked. Portland Finnegan gets his first sack of the season. Now looking at a third and long situation after the sack. Hit on the pass. Thornton is there on the tackle. The Titans have done an outstanding job containing one of the best receivers in the game up until this point, but that time he slipped away and made one. Gets the ball away. Pollock makes the tackle. Yeah, really not much a defense can do when you get a guy that can throw the football like that. You know, you get yourselves in position defensively. You think you're in the right spot. You're going to make a play, and a guy makes a throw like that, and you go, hey, that's a good throw. The stop was made by Javon Kirk. That's such a hard play to try and contain as a defensive player. You simply can't afford to give up the big play, so you have to give them something. And typically, it's those short, quick throws. That time for a first down. Michael Griffin is there on the tackle. The Steelers are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. First and ten. Hands it off and he will lose yardage on the play. The Steelers have to be frustrated with their lack of running success in this game. I mean, how many times can you get beat like I'm that and coach. still keep trying to play. hand the football exactly. off? He's dropped for a loss. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. He gets popped as he throws. I think he might have gotten just a little too aggressive on that. Pass interference. Defense. First down. From the 25-yard line. Yeah, go right now. He passes short. Harper makes the tackle. Miller makes his third catch of the game. This is the tenth play of the drive. Here's the give. He gets to about the eight before he's gang tackled. Willie Parker with some very solid running that time. If there is an opening to be found on the defense, this guy is going to find it and exploit it. Gets the pass off. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Now let's see if they go for the two-point conversion here. It's still early in the game. Maybe too soon to try it right here. Let's go. 
breaks the sack, still looking for an option. I really like what they did that time. Nice job by the Titans. Davis takes it at the 12. Gets to about the 34. The Titans have put together a couple of nice drives back to back. Let's see if the defense can adjust. They'll start this drive at the 34 yard line. First and 10. Here's the halfback. The tackle is made by Troy Portomalu. So they'll face a second and 10. Ball on their own 34. Passes it out. And he caught it. The stop was made by Ike Taylor. So we'll head to the fourth with our score. The Titans 15, the Steelers 13. He's hammered in the backfield. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back man. to the line of scrimmage. Might have a man. Deep pass, end zone. And the pass is incomplete. No completion that time, and it'll bring up third down. Gets the pass out. Drops the easy hit. And they'll keep the offense out there on fourth down. Throws it out. He makes another catch. Touchdown, Tennessee. <laughs> Terry Collins did what good quarterbacks do in those tough fourth down situations. Don't panic. Go through your reads. Look off the defense with your eyes. The net result, touchdown. And they will try to make this a 10-point lead. Short throw to the right. Caught out of bounds, incomplete. Baronis looks ready to kick it away. Hit and dropped at the 21-yard line. First and 10, ball on their own 21. Tackle was made by Harper. Keith Miller now with four catches in the game. Second and eight. is away the pass under pressure he felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly passing situation for the offense here on third and long passes brings it in Finnegan was there to bring him down. 
Hines Ward with his third reception. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. Pass is complete. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Looks like the penalty is going to cost them. This one should be coming back. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. And that'll be his third scoring strike of the game. Three touchdowns on the day now. Not perfect today, but certainly an impressive passing performance. He rolls out to the right. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Taken from the 10. Still on his feet. He makes it out to about the 27-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 27. Hands it to the back. He lost yardage on the play. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. They'll give it off here. Timmons makes the tackle. Pittsburgh calls time. Johnson gains around eight yards on the run. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Again with the run. Smith will drop him behind the line at the 32. And it appears that the coach will keep his offense out there. Here's the throw. There for the reception. Ferrier is there on the tackle. Washington with his third reception. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Johnson gets the call again. Hit and drop behind the line. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Johnson on the handoff. Tackle was made by Lamar Woodley. They get two yards. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He did an audible and only came away with a short game. The stop was made by James Ferry. Johnson picks up about seven yards on the run. The offense calls a timeout. And again, they're going to go for it on fourth down. He throws right. Is there for the catch. Did he get there? We'll have a measurement. And he did get the first down. I love watching fourth down football. It's all or nothing. You either pick it up and you go on, or you go home. Johnson, the ball carrier. James Ferrier was there to bring him down. Six yard pickup, and that will bring up second down. Gets another carry. 
Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really put some pressure on this group up front. Gives to the back. Still working. And for a defense in those short yardage situations, more often than not, you're going to give up the first down, but you certainly don't want to allow them to break out the big one. That's going to do it from Pittsburgh. Top plays are coming right up. Our final score is Tennessee 21, Pittsburgh 19.